Lee Mims Productions. We have something to say, so won't you listen up? Listen it up. We have something to say, so won't you listen up? Listen up. Every man, woman, boy, and girl. Won't you listen up? We're gonna touch the world. We have something to say. What's going on, my people? This is Lee Mims, LeeMimsProductions.com is where I am, and it's a place for all your musical needs. Follow me on all social media, Lee Mims Productions. Okay, topic today I want to talk about is walking away. walking away so many times in life um, we have sayings or mantras we follow Um, one of them is uh, remind me of Aaliyah if at first you don't succeed try to try again we have others uh, don't throw in the towel don't quit don't give up keep it moving Um, Don't stop. But what about the other option that we never talk about? Walking away. Walking away isn't always quitting. Doesn't mean that you have just said, I quit. You know, it's not the first thing you try. But walking away can also preserve you from burning useless energy. Um, I know for me, I'm 40, and I will say it's been a lot of years now since I have decided I'm not going to burn energy. And it hasn't been a lot of years as compared to how many years I've been on a planet, but it's been at least since maybe 30 to 35. 35 is just that stamp where you're like, you know what? I've tried it, and now I'm going to say 35. I'm definitely not going to burn energy. But clearly, 35 for me was the marker. 34, I remember 34 having a conversation with one of my good buddies. And I said, well, man, this is where I'm getting to my grown man, and this is what I'm going to tolerate, and this is what I'm not going to tolerate, and that's final. And I guess a lot of the cases, because, you know, I have been married for a while, I had kids, and the job and then you try to maintain relationships and that sometimes gets out of whack because long as people are busy doing what they need to do they don't realize what time they don't spend with you but then when they're done or they got a break hey man what you been doing you've been neglecting us or you've been neglecting me blah 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 you know, sometimes you get take shots or sometimes you hear the negative and you're like, man, I'm over here trying to be grown, trying to take care of my responsibilities. I don't have time to be in X, Y and Z. And then sometimes opinions are formulated. Correction. Opinions are already formulated about you. But when people finally find something to align what they feel, well, what it seems to be. Now we have a reason. What am I saying? If I always felt a division between us for whatever reason, and I am not doing so well in an area, i.e. relationships, you know, let's just say I have a horrible relationship and you are my friend of me. We'll say friend of me, meaning I am your friend, but I'll be hating on you on the low. So many of those people around in today's society, they had to come up with a phrase with it. But I'm over there hating on you because you taking time to be with your boo, whatever the catchphrase is for today. And 
I want to be with my boo and my boo don't want to be with me because I done did something stupid. Well, that's not my fault. Correction, that's not your fault. Dad, my boo don't want to be with me, but I'm hating on you because you seem like you're doing everything right. First off, the word seems means I don't know. All I know, your life is shabbier than mine. But because I see pictures on Facebook and tweets and uh, YouTube or whatever else is out here. Oh, he think he all that. Well, at this point, you decide whether you want to keep trying to prove to me what a friend you are. Or B, you walk away. Me? Shoes on the other foot and I'm looking the other way. I'm going to walk away. I don't have time for that negative energy. I keep trying to tell you I'm your real friend. I'll show you to the best of my knowledge. I'm your real friend. I've been here for you for years, but I don't have time for the negativity and the shots you keep throwing at me. It's it's a waste of time. Another scenario. If you are at a dead end job and you feel like I've been here for years, I don't want to get to know new people, but I hate my salary. There's no potential to move up, and that's my goal to move up. I always have something negative to say when I come home. Every time it's time to get ready for work, I'm cussing and fussing and praying to the Lord to take me through it. I feel sick. As I pull up, I get there early and contemplate every day, why am I here? Well, that's another time to walk away. Life is too short. We spend a third of the day or better. Correction. Not just a third of the day, a third of the year or more at work. Whether you provide for yourself, provide for your family, provide for your significant other. That is just too much time to be miserable. I saw a meme that, uh, well, I saw plenty of memes where people were looking forward to the weekend. But I saw a video where a guy says, why are you always looking forward to the weekend? That means you rush through the other days. Basically, Monday through Friday, if that's your work week, you hate your life and you look forward to partying on Friday evening and Saturday and then Sunday you enjoy yourself. And then Sunday night, you back to dreading getting ready to go to work. That is a lot of time to be feeling miserable, especially if you don't love your job. If you don't love the job and you hate the environment. You're just wasting your life away. I'm not saying walk away and don't have another plan. Of course you have another plan. Have a plan B. Start looking for another job. Maybe uh, switch your whole career up. If you sometimes be getting the jobs and it's just that, a job. It's just seasonal. It's just there to get you to the next one. And then there's career moves where you see yourself there for years, maybe decades, adding to your resume, adding to your portfolio of knowledge. Um, you're adding to your community. You're, you're, you're an asset there. You feel like you're, you're worth something. You can look at yourself in the mirror and, that, and, and, and be happy. That doesn't say that your boss is gonna pat you on the back every day. There should be some type of self-gratification where If the boss doesn't get to you, you are still proud and still happy and still feel like you're giving, you know, and you're receiving. It should be a balance. If you're in a third scenario, if you're in an abusive relationship and the person knows they're abusing verbally, physically, mentally, whatever the case may be, and you've brought it to your attention day after day, time after time, time after time, day after day, time after time. And more so than that, if you have kids that you brought into it and they're being abusive to uh, him or her or, or how many other children you have and you've 
sat down and talked about it. You've tried counseling. You tried talking to them. You tried isolating them. You tried raising your voice over top of them. Maybe you had to defend yourself. And this has been going on time after time after time after time after time. You have to decide what your cutoff point is. Maybe the first time for me is enough. Ain't nobody putting their hands on me or mentally abusing me or treating me like a mess and making me feel like I'm not worth anything or I'm nervous to do this or nervous to do that, can't speak up, can't have an opinion. Everything I do is so horrible. You have to decide what your walk away point is. Maybe it's the first time, maybe it's the second time. Maybe it's the third time, maybe it's the hundredth time. But if you feel like you feel when you get to the job that I uh, used the example for earlier, why am I here? Get yourself a plan B together. Maybe you have to start putting money away uh, to the side. This is male or female. Putting money to the side and get ready for your grand exit. If you can. If your life is in danger, then you need to get out now. Walk away now. Walk away does not mean you're a failure just means you're preserving yourself you love yourself more than just having that situation some of us have relationships that are just poisonous negative horrible there is no good coming out of it but we don't want to look like a quitter we worry about what people say but guess what people don't live in your shoes who cares what people say you're living that life every day That's why I practice not telling people what to do with their relationship. I'm not in it. You could be talking trash about your mate and then go home and be loving them up. And you're really happy, but you're just talking trash because you just want attention. Now I'm saying, don't be with the person. Don't be with the person. And what do you do? You're going to go back to that person and say, they they just be hating on us. They be hating on us. This is what he be saying. You're like, what? You brought it to me. That's a whole nother podcast, knowing what to say and when to say it as a, as a friend. And again, these are not um, solidified by any professional. These are just purely Lee Mims productions and Lee Mims um, opinions. And these are life situations I've been through. Life situations I've had to help others get through. Things that I've seen, things that maybe I can help help somebody and pass on. So this is not a um, definitive uh, way to live your life. These things that I say, these are just things that I do and things that I've come across that are most helpful. And I hope that for your entertainment purposes, uh, if nothing else helps you get through the day listening to these or Hopefully I say something that helps you or maybe you know somebody else that may want to listen to and uh, have some enjoyable music behind it with some uh, theories that we express and talk about to help us get through this daily life. In my closing, I just want to say that walking away does not make you a quitter, does not make you a loser, does not make you less than. Um, That just means you love yourself more than the situation and you've contributed enough energy and it makes you feel like you're in quicksand it feels like you're suffocating um there is a relief in quitting i'm old enough to have uh left jobs at this point and started new ones and um although i don't like starting over anew there is a level of uh sigh of relief when you leave certain pressures that you can't do anything about. If you're in an environment and you realize you're not adding and you're not helping shift the environment towards what you need and financially it's not working out, but emotionally it's taking out more than what you're putting in, it may be time to just go ahead and walk away. A lot of times we don't wanna walk away from jobs and relationships. Those are the two biggest things. Oh, I can make it better. Well, evaluate how long you've been working at this particular make it better. Is it better? Or are you coping? Are you satisfied? Are you content? 
or do you just don't want to start all over? So it's a level of familiarity and comfort. But you're not really comfortable, you're just familiar. Familiar does not equate to happiness. It's just that, familiar, which you're used to. And as humans, we have the power to get used to just about anything. Look at people that are, are starving and hungry and don't have what we have in America. They're still living and they find a way to be um, content. But they're just surviving. Do you just want to survive or do you want to live? I'm Lee Mims. This is another podcast by Lee Mims Productions. LeeMimsProductions.com is a place for all your musical needs, whether you want to have music for a film or TV, your own videos, you have artists, your singer or songwriter. Check out LeeMimsProductions.com for all your musical needs. Most genres are there. And don't forget, it's okay to walk away. <laughs>